We'd like to welcome you to the 2005 THQ World Supercross GP and the THQ AMA Supercross Series. My name is Todd Harris with ABC and ESPN. I'll be doing the play-by-play -play this year along with Cameron Steele and Jamie Little. We're happy to have everyone here today and we are extremely happy to have all the talented riders and staff members who have taken time out of their busy schedule to join us today and members of the working media. I think it's fair to say that this is without question the biggest confluence of talent we have seen in the world of motorsports racing at one venue at one time. Um, it has brought great champions out of semi-retirement, it has brought young riders up in class, and I think everyone in the sporting world is looking forward to this. You have the experience of maybe the whole table, but realistically, what are you expecting this year? Well, I, I mean, obviously, realistically, this is a lot different than it was the last time. I mean, the last time I was at this table, I was crying and retiring and all that stuff. And so it was a, it was a lot different. Um, I'm proud to be uh, part of Team Honda and excited about the year. And as far as it, my expectations go, I mean, I, I think, uh, you know, I, I mean, I'm looking to get a good start. And I, th I think I've been doing plenty of riding. And, um, you know, I, I don't want everyone to get confused about, about this being a a comeback it's kind of a comeback of sorts but I mean I miss the racing and I'm excited to be here I wanted to test myself I want to get the challenge going again and uh, obviously with this stack of riders right here and plenty more you know that aren't sitting at this table uh, this is a great season and a good one to be part of I want to make it low pressure and obviously uh, if I can battle up towards the front that would, that would totally make me happy and and uh, you know this I'm going to race and have some fun, and I, I think I expect a lot from myself, but, you know, I mean, the good, I guess to make light of it, you know, no matter what happens on Monday, I'm not going to get fired. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like you can run up there with them? Obviously, if you didn't, you wouldn't be here. Oh, that's, that's a good point. If I, if I didn't feel like I could, you know, I wouldn't be here. But this year is, you know, it's kind of coming a little different. I mean, there's no way in the first couple rounds, you know, you know, I just broke my wrist a couple months back, but I uh, haven't had the bike time that these guys have had right now. Um, haven't had a lot of testing on the bike, but you know what? I'm just going to go out there, have some fun, you know, get, finish the first couple races. That sounds like a really low goal, but I mean, pretty much for me, just stay on two wheels, go out there, have a good time, and you know, just uh, try not to try to limit the damages. Maybe first five rounds and you know, for four or five rounds, and another month into this thing, I really hope to be up there, you know, battling up front. You know, I look at this lineup here, and even guys, you know, like David Villeman and you know, Tortelli and everyone that's not even up here. I mean, <laughs> this is the best year in Supercross history, and I want to be a part of it. So, you know, whatever it is, you know, it is. And I have a great team with Cernix Suzuki this year, and just go out there, have a good time, and you know, hope to be there all 16 rounds. The the biggest problem was that you know, was a major dislocation, so um, all the the ligaments and stuff. So basically, all the cast is is just to hold the wrist in place. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have it on for most of the season. But it's, it's uh, I call it a racing race, supportive, um, fast mechanism. <laughs> <laughs> what are your expectations for this year? Yeah, it was a great season last year, and, uh, you know, Chad, Chad rode great. And, you know, it, was, it was nice to, uh, to be back to Supercross, and, and uh, you know, a lot of people had questioned, you know, how it would be for me, and, uh, you know, I think it, it went better than, than expected, and, and uh, you know, it was a great season for me to, to build on even more. <coughs> and uh, this is a year where you, you had to uh, have – have building blocks to to come into because uh, because of the level of, of talent that that's uh, that's here this year. So, you know, with with the talent that's here, you know, the, to say that you're going to get on a podium every weekend is is going to be a, a tough feat, and to say you're going to go out and win and all and all that. So, you know, I think that there's going to be some strategy that definitely goes into the season, and uh, you know, I think that sometimes if it's not there and you make something happen, that that's going to be when people get hurt or you know fall and, and go to the back of the pack. So, consistency I think is going to play a huge part. Getting a good start and uh, just riding 20 hard laps. Kevin, uh, you know, the media is focused on uh, Chad, Ricky, and Bubba a lot. Do you think that's, that's not fair to yourself, David Fulman, or does that motivate you more to, to prove that, you know, there's more than just uh, three guys that can win? Well, I, I definitely think that, uh, you know, to have this many microphones up here is uh, kind of they, they need to get more because there's definitely some more talent out there. And, and uh, you know, it's an honor to be sitting at this table, but I think there are some guys that are left out. And, you know, but I don't, I don't you know, feel like there was anything to really talk to me about, you know, or, or about me. You know, McGrath's coming back, you know, Travis is back, and, you know, there's a lot of stories up here, but, you know, I think that, uh, you know, after Saturday night, you know, we'll have a story uh, of the race, and, and uh, you know, it won't be, it won't be, uh, you know, hypothetical. It'll, it'll just be off of results, and I uh, hope to be a part of, uh, 
of the uh, conversation af after this weekend. But, you know, uh, of course there was a lot going on with, with everybody at this table, you know, so uh, there's a lot of stories out there to share. What is your strategy, I guess, when you line up on the gate if you make it to the main event and you see this talent out there? Is it the same strategy you've held since you were five? Yeah, pretty much. You know, I um, always, you know, when I was coming up through amateur and stuff like that, I've always been moving up a class, like always having doubts and stuff like that. And, um, you know, I don't really see any difference, you know, like I'm racing against, you know, different guys like that. And, you know, the level of competition is a lot higher than what I was in. And, you know, I don't really see any difference. You know, I'm going to go out there and, and do my own deal. I um, I'm not looking at everybody sitting at this table, you know, it's the guys I need to beat. I'm looking at, you know, everybody I hear. And plus, I am that guy who's moving up. And, you know, these guys, you know, come in, don't want me to, you know, to win and don't want to move over and stuff like that. For as a respect, like Ricky and Chad has built, you know, coming up through the back of the pack, you kind of know where these guys finish at every weekend. So it's going to be good. You know, I'm really excited to get out there and uh, I'm just trying to see what I can do. I'm not going to change what I've been doing in my last 15 years of racing, like, like I am a veteran, I mean, not a veteran, but I'm a rookie coming in 250, but I think people have kind of forgot, like, I forgot how to ride a motorcycle. And, you know, like, coming up on the 250, moving up and stuff like that, it's been, like, an easier change for me from riding the 125, so I feel a little bit more comfortable. You know, I think it's just going to be used to consistent and stuff like that, but I think eventually everybody's going to make a mistake because the, the talent up here is, is too deep and, you know, too, everybody's too good up here for somebody to not make a mistake, and I just think who makes the least ones is going to come out on top. Are John? you talking over there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't talk when you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> it's already started. <laughs> Are you ready? I think I'm ready. You know, uh, I'm really comfortable. I had a great off season. Uh, training went well, and you know, I've done everything that I that I can do at this point. Uh, I've tried to better my riding and, uh, you know, get a little bit faster and, you know, it's been a while, you know, it's been almost, well, I haven't raced here since, uh, two years now. So, uh, you know, it, I know there's a lot of hype around this race, but, uh, there's 16 races and, you know, I want to be the guy at, at, uh, at Vegas. But I think that, uh, I'm the underdog, so to say, you know, Chad's the, uh, defending Supercross champ. And, uh, you know, everybody likes an underdog. Uh, so it's a, it's a good position to be in. Uh, I think I'm uh, as good as I was in, in 01 when me and Jeremy were racing. And, uh, you know, that, that's a great feeling. So, you know, no offense, but it's all <laughs> polite out here. And everybody's got this little nifty powwow going on. But, you know, the only thing that's beat you in the past, like, 700 years has been an ACL injury. So are you sitting here going, yeah, potential is great. Legends are great. A guy that like backflips seven million times and everything else. But you know, unless Tanya Harding comes with a bat, this is my damn championship. You know, I just I'm not gonna sit up here and run my mouth because if I don't back it up, then I got some uh, big boots to fill and you know some you know just I'm just, just got eating some mad crow. So uh, I know what I'm capable of, and uh, there are great riders out here and. Uh, do I think I can win? Yeah, I think I can. I think my bike is good. I think I've put myself in the best position, and I'm going to do what I can do. If Bubba's going to quadruple some section, go for it. You know, I, I don't care. I'm doing, my own, <laughs> I'm doing my own thing. When he wins 108 races, then he's the man, and uh, he, probably, he probably will. I mean, I've said it before. When he gets it figured out, I mean, the guy is unbelievable. I, I love to watch him ride. You know, I'm going to do the best that I can do. Uh, you know, I'm not going to sit here and, and, and talk a bunch of talk. I'll just do it out on the track and, and do my best. That's all I'm going to do. And if it's enough, it's enough. If, if it's not, I have no problem with admitting that, you know, I'm not the badass on the track. I have, you know, I can, I'm a man. I can swallow my pride, you know. That's it. Winning that Supercross title last year, what has that done to you personally and, and for your career here in the States and abroad? It was, uh, you know, that, that championship was, was something that I'd been looking forward to my whole life. And uh, I worked really hard, come a long way to get it. And, uh, you know, it was, it was a great deal. You know, I appreciate all the, the help and, uh, you know, the team that I had around me. It was, uh, it was a great championship and had a lot of fun racing uh, Kevin and, and the rest of the guys. It was uh, a very unfortunate thing that Ricky got injured at the beginning of the season. Wasn't able to race him and, and uh, you know, get a title that way. But, uh, you know, I have, uh, 
you know, more than that chance now. So just looking forward to this season and and uh, just being healthy. It's great. Do you feel a little bit like the Boston Red Sox? Like, hey, it was kind of snappy what you did, but, you know, they're not really giving you a whole lot of respect up here. Everybody's talking about guys coming back, guys, young guys, people that were injured. You know, you won a championship too. I mean, what's you feeling a little bit underappreciated there, Chief? No, I, I think I'm in the same boat as Kevin. You know, I've uh, stayed with the same bike. I'm happy with that and, uh, you know, re-signed for two more years. And, uh, you know, nothing has really changed. You know, I think the, the thing that's kept me in the Elite Three is, is that I have the title. And uh, the, those guys want to take that away. So, uh, you know, I have it and don't want to let it go. So uh, I'm looking forward to this season. I feel uh, better than ever and uh, prepared.